This is the $4 billion upgrade to one of Europe's busiest airports. Located in Germany, Frankfurt's International Airport is currently undergoing a massive expansion to accommodate the ever-increasing number of visitors. More than 800 companies are involved in building an entirely new terminal, making it one of the largest construction projects on the continent. And of course, a project of this size faces a lot of tough challenges. For example, why did they need specialized industrial divers to build an airport? Today, we'll uncover cover their exact plans, the current construction progress, and when the new terminal will finally open. Frankfurt is a modern city, famous for being the financial center of Germany. And thanks to being home to the largest airport in the whole country, the city also serves as a major international hub. Located southwest of the city center, it's not only one of the busiest, but also the most connected airport in the entire world, providing flights to 330 different destinations. It comprises two main passenger terminals and four runways, covering an area that's nearly half the size of Manhattan. Before we take a deep dive into its impressive construction, we want to talk about why it's being built. The roots of this $4 billion upgrade reach as far back as the previous century. As the airport's popularity was rising, continuous expansions were needed to reach the required capacity. Back then, the two terminals were able to handle up to 54 million annual passengers. But even in the 1990s, it was already clear that at some point in the future, that wouldn't be enough. This gave rise to the idea of an expansion in the form of a completely new, massive terminal. At maximum expansion level, this would add a capacity of 25 million passengers every year. It was to be built at the southern part of the airport, replacing an American base, which was to close in 2005. Soon after acquiring the approval from the local government, an architectural competition was launched and eventually concluded by selecting a modern design with feel-good ambiance. After years of extensive planning and legal processes, the idea of Terminal 3 became reality in 2015, when construction finally began. The plan was to build it in three separate phases. In the first phase, the main bulk of the project would be built. It would contain the construction of the main terminal hall, two piers, H and J, a new apron tower, and all the infrastructure surrounding the terminal. Both the second and third phase, consisting of the construction of pier G and K respectively, would be basically expansions to the first phase, and would be built depending on visitor demand, after the terminal's planned opening in 2026. So what will the completed terminal look like, and what will it be like to visit? Visitors will have two main ways to access the new terminal. The first is by car, using the 11 meter high and half a kilometer long drive-in platform, located directly in front of the gates of the departure hall. To handle the thousands of cars, an eight-story parking garage with a capacity of 8,500 vehicles will also be built. The second option to reach Terminal 3 is by the Skyline, a driverless double track system. It will connect the airport's train station at Terminal one with the new one in just eight minutes, enabling people to access it using only public transportation. After reaching the terminal, the next part of the visitor's journey is the main terminal hall. It will consist of three zones. The first zone will be a spacious hall split into two floors. The upper floor will serve as a departure hall, directly accessible from the drive-in platform, while the lower floor will be an arrival hall. The second zone will act as a security check area, leading directly into the third zone, a futuristic marketplace and lounge. In in line with the chosen architectural design of pleasant ambiance, the interior will focus on improving people's experiences while waiting for their flights. This will be in particular achieved thanks to a wavy, reflective steel ceiling, which will create a unique shifting effect using daylight. Directly connected to this main building will be the four piers. What's unique about them is that they will not be built as a single building. Instead, they'll be constructed in short modules, allowing to extend their length when needed by putting up more of these sections. Each of the piers will have a slightly different interior design while still following the overall vision of comfort. But how close is this project to its completion? Since the start of construction in 2015, the project has made enormous progress. However, the annual passenger count has already been increasing faster than expected in 2018. It became clear that soon the limit of what the airport could handle would be reached, 
so changes to the original plan had to be made. Instead of building the main terminal building first, the construction of Pier G was prioritized. This was because it could function as an individual unit, and it would provide immediate support for the rest of the airport, through increasing its capacity by more than 4 million passengers. Being the main focus of the construction, Pier G quickly started taking shape. However, the rush and change in plans soon became unnecessary when COVID hit aviation in early 2020, and passenger numbers took a nosedive by more than 70% over the whole year. But despite the urgency being gone, construction work nonetheless continued with the new plan. This resulted in Pier G already being completed in April 2022, and excavation work for its modular extensions having been prepared. Since the airport is still recovering from the pandemic, Terminals 1 and 2 are handling the visitors just fine. Thus, Pier G has been temporarily put out of operation and lacks most of its equipment, with its opening push to 2026, in line with the other piers. However, Pier G isn't the only part of the project that's made significant progress. The infrastructure around the terminal is also slowly coming together. 10 kilometers of new roads together with the access and departure ramp are already in place. The drive-in platform in front of the terminal is also nearing its completion. Even the parking garage is standing tall and partially open for the construction workers. Shifting focus to the skyline, its track is already functional and already successfully passed its first test ride. Then there's the main terminal building, which already looks like a finished structure from the outside thanks to its exterior being completed. The carcasses of piers J and H are also in place, and the work on their exterior is making steady progress. And finally, the apron tower, integrated into Pier H, is already governing the terminal at a height of 70 meters. To achieve this level of progress, the construction team faced multiple tough challenges. During the excavation of the underground parts of the main terminal building, the workers faced a unique problem. As they dug deeper, they realized they reached a depth where the soil was fully saturated with water. This resulted in water flooding the site and eventually forming a small lake. To prevent further flooding, the team needed to fixate the bottom of the pit with concrete before pumping out the water and repurposing it later. This required specially trained industrial divers with purpose-built suits they were tasked to dive to the bottom and supervise how the concrete was curing. Another challenge concerning the main terminal building was the construction of its roof with a size of two and a half soccer fields. The initial plan was to lift it in a single piece using two cranes on opposite sides of the building. However, as Pier G was being built in front of the main hall, there wasn't enough space to carry out this plan. So the construction team then had to choose a more time-consuming option that required extreme precision. The roof had to be split in five pieces, which were individually lifted onto sleds as part of a supporting structure on top of the building. These sleds then carried each piece of the roof to their final position, which in the end took more than six months to complete. Other challenges include achieving centimeter precision using equipment that weighed up to 155 tons while building the drive-in platform. They also integrated 90 kilometers of pipe systems into the terminal building. But despite all of these challenges, construction has been going very smoothly and progress has been achieved according to schedule, which is a very impressive feat for a project of this scale, as you'll know if you've been watching our channel for a while. When opening in 2026, Terminal 3 will have a giant impact on both the airport itself and its surroundings. By increasing the capacity by an additional 19 million visitors a year, traffic is expected to increase, but waiting times are still supposed to decrease. It will also provide thousands of job opportunities, adding to the airport's current workforce of nearly 81,000 employees. Do us a favor, currently only 3.8% of our viewers are subscribed to our channel. So if you enjoyed this video so far, make sure to click that button. It would help support us a lot and we'd really appreciate it. Next up, we take a look at the impact on on the economy and the environment. As with many projects of this scale, it will necessarily have some negative side effects. The additional Terminal 3 building, along with all its amenities, will certainly increase the airport's carbon footprint. But Fraport, owner of Frankfurt Airport, already has considered these environmental concerns in its planning of the new terminal. Not only have they implemented various measures to reduce energy and water consumption, they're also taking a look at the bigger picture. By 2026, the airport will satisfy 85% of its energy demands through renewable energy a part of that will be done with solar panels placed on the roof of Terminal 3 and its parking facility. All these measures are to conclude in the ambition of reaching net zero emissions for the whole airport by 2045. But whether an airport can operate with net zero emissions remains to be seen. 
Talking about the future for Frankfurt Airport after opening Terminal 3 in 2026, Terminal 2 will temporarily be shut down to allow for wide-spanning renovation activities. All of its flights will be transferred to the new terminal for that period of time. And if you're wondering how that one is supposed to be handling all of these additional passengers, well, then Fraport has an ace up its sleeve called Pier K. That one has been in the plans to be built from early on as soon as it's necessary and would add a capacity of 6 million passengers every year. We're definitely curious to see how passenger numbers will develop in the coming years, but if it's any indication so far, the airport has already seen a near 30% growth in the first half of 2023 compared to the same time frame the year before. But what do you think about the new terminal? Do you like the feel-good ambiance it's trying to achieve? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more similar mega projects, then you should watch our video about the biggest mega projects in Germany. Thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.